Hi, this is Joe from the Pocono Mountain Public Library. I hope everyone's doing okay out there. Today I'm bringing you a book recommendation. Uh, this is a book recommendation for writers, musicians, artists, etc., or anybody who wants to be a writer, a musician, or an artist, etc. The book I'm talking about is Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. The sole purpose of this book is to inspire you to do what you want to do. Um, many of us want to do something creative. It's part of being human. And what Cleon's book, Still Like an Artist, does is help people have confidence in their own creative abilities. So um, when I do programs at the library, we do craft programs, we do writing programs, um, I do a guitar workshop as well. People are often easily discouraged because they, they, they think, well, I'm not good enough. You know, I'll never, you know, you know, be able to play guitar in a band, or I'll never be able to paint like that guy, or I won't be able to um, write like whatever writer they like. And what Austin Cleon's book does is that it it helps you have confidence in your own creative abilities, which is a very revolutionary, well, I don't want to say revolutionary thing, but it is very important. I think a lot of folks lack confidence, you know, people who do want to write, people who do want to uh, play music or paint or draw or sculpt, whatever it may be, or make, make YouTube videos, whatever it is. Uh, Austin Cleon's book will help you have confidence in yourself. Steal Like an Artist is a manifesto for courage and creativity. It is a very quick read. It'll probably take you less than an hour to read it, it's, it but it's, the, it's a delightful read. Um, but I hear you guys saying out there, isn't stealing bad? Well, yes, stealing is bad. But in the context of art, it can be, it can be okay if you do it right. Um, and Cleon offers a sort of like... Um, good versus bad theft diagram right here. You see, uh, the good thief honors the work that he uh, is inspired by. He studies it, or he or she. He studies the whole craft, steal from many. Like, so if you're a poet, you read a lot of different poetry. You just don't, don't read one poet. Um, you give credit to the person that inspires you. And if you do um, take something from them, you try to transform it into something different that's your own. And think of it, it's like a remix instead of a ripoff. If you do this stuff, that's no good. That's, that's plagiarism, right? The another thing about Steel Like an Artist, which is very interesting, is it, it's going to transform you. Uh, it's going to transform the way you read. It's going to transform the way you look at a painting. It's going to transform the way um, you listen to music. Uh, because you're not going to just be enjoying these creative works just for the sake of enjoyment, you're going to be listening for stuff or looking for stuff that you can use in your own art. I read it once in another book, <sighs> if you want to be a good novelist, one of the first things you should do is read other novels and see what other novelists have done. Um, I think Cleon would agree with that advice. It gives you license to borrow from other works of art to incorporate into your own, own creative work. We shouldn't be thinking we have to always be original. What we should be thinking is, is there something here that I could use in my own art? So one thing to remember is that the writers you like, they weren't always the writers that you liked. Before that, they were just regular people trying to become writers. And how did they become writers? They, they were influenced by their world that they lived in, but also they were inspired by other writers. And they read those other writers, and they borrowed from those other writers, and they wrote those wrote things down, and they made their own. Um, and that's the main takeaway from Cleon's book, is that you have to have the desire, you have to put the work in to make whatever it is you're borrowing your own, and you have to have the courage to put it out there. Um, now, if you ever find yourself in a, a rut, and you can't think of anything creative, Cleon offers plenty of exercises in this book, and I highly recommend it. Uh, that's my uh, review. I hope you like it. Uh, 
steal like an artist, check it out, read it, return it, so someone else can check it out. Have a nice day.